having the best screen recording tool has become one of the most valuable things that you can do as a business person. And the reason why it's so important is because capturing what you can see visually and then sharing that with someone is such an incredible way to save time, to educate and persuade people, and ultimately to make more money. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get and use the best screen recording app for Windows 10 or Apple. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Here we go. Welcome to the Dub Channel, where we educate, entertain, and elevate CEOs, entrepreneurs, and sales leaders just like you. The app that we're showcasing in this video is the Dub Desktop Recorder. This is actually a software application that I have been working on for years, and it's actually the product of learning a lot of different things through the Dub Chrome extension. Now, the Dub Chrome extension is used by tens of thousands of people, but it does have some limitations. It's really great if you want to record something within your browser, but the second that you want to break out of your browser and have more robust recording and editing functions is where you need to use the Dub Desktop app. The first thing that I'll recommend is to click on the link below in the comments and to actually download the free Dub Desktop app and install it on your Windows or Apple machine. One of the things you will have to do after you install the app is to sign up and log into your Dub account, which actually takes less than 60 seconds and there's no credit card required and you can always select the free option. Now, the first thing that you are going to notice when you open up the Dub desktop app, it's actually six options in this choose your own adventure. So the first option will be to record your screen followed by record your webcam. You can also import a YouTube video, upload a video, go directly to your dashboard, or you can access your settings. What I'm actually gonna do is select record screen. Now you'll notice the first button that you are gonna see is the cropping or dimensions tool. Now the thing that I always recommend when selecting the size of your video is to determine where are you going to publish this video. If you're gonna publish this video, Video on YouTube, I recommend doing 169 landscape. And if you're going to create something for social media, select 916. If you're doing something for Instagram or Facebook, one-to-one -one or square format is also going to work really well for you. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with the landscape video. And at this point, I can decide, am I going to turn my webcam feed on? Am I going to turn it off? The other thing that I can decide on here is if I want to actually turn my teleprompter on. So if I have some sort of a script that I have not yet memorized, all that I have to do is select the teleprompter and then actually pull up the teleprompter script that I can actually read while recording my screen or webcam video. Now, one of the great things about the Dub Desktop app is that this is not going to appear in your final recording. All you have to do is open this and rest assured it will not be in the final product. Here you'll notice there's a couple of different options to scroll while recording to increase or decrease the speed and then of course to increase the font size. Do a couple of practice rounds to see really what works for you on the teleprompter and then once you've done that and just practice it and trust me you will get the hang of it. The other thing that you can also add is annotations. Now annotations means you can add shapes, squares, circles, lines, arrows, text overlays, and even a numbering option where you can simply click on a certain part of your screen and it will automatically add numbers. Now, of course, if you want to change the size, location, or color of any of these elements, you can simply click on them and then select from the options here. There's also an undo or redo option. And then, of course, if you want to clear out everything, simply click on the trash can. And then after that, if you want to close your annotations tool, click on the X button. The next thing that I'll mention is that you do have the ability to show your display controls in your recording. And that's only if you want to show these elements from the Dub desktop app in your recordings. Another feature that's noteworthy here is the ability to show your mouse click. So you'll notice here, every time I click the mouse, there's that little sort of blinking circle that appears to bring attention to my mouse click. So you can turn this on or you can turn this off. The two most robust features on the Dub desktop app is number one, the ability to record multiple clips and then the ability to edit your videos. So here's how I can show how that works. First, capture a screen video. Now remember, a very powerful option that you have while recording videos is to pause your video while you're recording. And to do that, all you have to do is click the pause button. What this will do is stop recording until you click the record button. This gives you just a moment to catch a breath, to figure out what you're going to say, and sometimes to get your screen visually ready to be recorded. Once you've completed your clip, you can click on the check button, and then you'll notice you will have that video here in the form of a clip. Now the thing that's really powerful here is that you can continue to 
add clips. In this case, I can add another screen video or I can actually open up my webcam and record a full screen video. So let's do a screen video. Thanks for watching this video. See you on YouTube. Once I have my clips organized here, I can reorder them, add additional screen videos, add additional webcam videos, or even upload videos from my computer. Now, once I've done this, I click the done recording button and it's going to merge all those videos. Now, after I've merged those videos is where I can actually go and do real time editing. So you'll notice here we have a simple editor. You can cut clips, you can trim them, you can delete clips entirely, and also you can generate captions. If you want to get more granular in your editing, use the zoom tool here on the timeline so you can get more precise cuts. Now at this point, this video can be downloaded onto your computer or it can be uploaded to Dub. Now once you've uploaded your video to Dub, the sky is the limit in terms of what you can do with it. You can share it in a video email, you can upload it to YouTube, you can host it and embed it on a page, or you can even send a video email campaign out. Now I hope you enjoyed this video on how to get and use the best screen recording tool for Mac or Windows. If you like this content, subscribe to this channel and like this video and leave a comment below of what you would like for us to create next time.